Devin Schmidt, Adventure Vehicle Reviews. I'm here with the 2018 Jeep Rubicon Wrangler JL. That's a mouthful. Yes. And with me, I'm with uh, Manny. He's with Mopar. He's gonna tell us all about this Jeep and everything that's on it. Manny, what's going on? Devin here, we've got a Rubicon in the production color, Mojito Green. And what we've done is we've added a number of accessories to demonstrate the capability of what you can do with our vehicles. So on the front, basically, this is a production Rubicon bumper. We've only taken off the end caps, just so you have additional clearance, okay. which allows me to introduce these 35-inch wheels um, on our beadlock rims. So I'm looking at the bumper, and the bumper doesn't go all the way to the end of the, of the tires, so I'll let you go just right up against an object with that tread. You know, I also see some lights that are on this front bumper here. Tell me a little bit about that. So with us, you know, we, we wanted to come up with some new lights, but we wanted them to be special. So we went to a military grade. We know our enthusiasts love to be rugged. They love uh, incredibly durable products. This is an aluminum body light, puts out 8,000 lumens. They're water submergible. They're validated for in incredible shake. Um, inclement weather. Inclement weather. Robust. Now, I'm, what I'm noticing as well is that the, the mounting of it, it's just a clamp mount that goes on the bumper. Yeah. So it, you don't have to drill a hole no, in no your vehicle. Yep. It's I mean, right there. It's a it's a two-inch bar, and we have a, a clamp that wraps around with a couple of screws. Very easy to fit up. And the nice thing is, it's all integrated to our aux switches. You know, they come with a vehicle, and basically they have their own power distribution system. So it allows you to add a number of accessories, and it's all available at your. Uh, the same thing with the lights up here on the A pillar. They're all attached to the same place. Correct. Very nice. Okay, Manny. I'm looking at a snorkel. Every time I usually see a snorkel, I think AEV. But I'm seeing this, and I'm seeing some Jeep logos on here. It, it's actually very long. It goes way up to the front. Tell me about it. So if you're going and you're going to be in some uh, some areas where there's some water, you want to you know take on those terrains. We, and we not have to float away. And not float away. We're we're allowing you to do that. We've created a snorkel. Um, the nice thing about this, we create a bezel kit that allows you to cut into the hood. And uh, in the near future, we're going to be offering this package through the factory. So we'll actually do all the cutting for you and. It'll be turnkey. So if someone gets a 2018, they send you the Jeep, say, I want the snorkel on it. Well, you can have it done at the dealer, or we can send the Jeep to you from the factory with the snorkel in it. And I, I don't think we may mention this, but all these Mopar products yes. are covered under the warranty. Correct. That's huge. OK, Manny, cold air intake. There it is. Hit it. So the nice thing about this is we've gone one step further. So in order to draw cold air from the outside, we've created a bezel kit that allows you to cut the hood to draw cold air from the outside so you're not recycling that, you know, that warm air on the under hood. Um, that's a new piece, nicely done. Put a little bit of the, the Moab in there, you know, where our consumers or our enthusiasts love to go. Okay, now we're out here on the side of the, on the vehicle here and I'm seeing a lot of cool components. I'm seeing these very robust doors here. Tell me about tell me about these uh, this unique look that we got going on with the hatch. So these two doors are two inches thick. Okay. Uh, we use production um, mounting features. So those hinges are production hinges. We use production latches, right? So you don't get the squeaks, the rattles. Very easy to remove. We put in the strap so you don't hyperextend. Um, so we're real proud of these. Okay. Now I see you got a rock slider, rock rail, if you will. Rock tell rail. me about it. So what we've done is we've actually taken the production rock rail and we said we want to add, you know, just a little bit more to it just in case those enthusiasts are looking for just something a little more to be able to uh, tackle some of those challenging uh, terrains. So this is, I'm going to say, almost three times as big as the production Rubicon rock rail um, okay. rails. We've actually, if, if you feel, there's a special coating on here. We've taken the coating off the truck um, spray and bed liner. So, you know, it's not really a step, but if you want to put your foot on there, it'll give you a little bit more grip. Okay. Now, is it attached to the frame or is it attached to the body? Uh, so we use all the production mounting features, uh, which is attached to the frame. Gotcha. Okay. Now, I'm seeing some uh, components that are on the back of these front seats here. It's almost like a weaved system. What yeah. is that? So what that is is Molly, Molly attachment. So on the Rubicon vehicle on the back of the seat, there is Molly attachment. So we create some um, bags if you want to, you know, another storage place, put your wallet, maybe cell phone, but uh, it comes in a package of three, 
It's for additional storage. So will that Molly system, is it is it compatible with anything that, that attaches on Molly, or is that a specific sized Molly just for a Mopar Jeep? I mean, the way it works is the Molly straps, usually it's intertwined and gives you the ability to add just about any type of Molly system. So I guess what I'm trying to ask is, uh, you, get the, you get the guy, he's, he's ta tactical out, he wants to take his magazines, holders off, and he wants to put them on the back seat of his Jeep. Could he do that? You could be able to use those Molly That's systems. cool, that's very cool. Okay, what's uh? I see we got some holders up here. What's going on with the handle and the, and this, the leather on the seat? So those are our, our handles. You know, when you're hitting some of the trains, you need something to hold on to. We've added two additional on the front and two on the back. Um, in addition, we've got the, the, the sunshade. So it's the, the sunshade. yeah, it's actually a mesh bikini top, we call it. Okay. So if you got, uh, you want to get that wind, you want to get that open air feel, but you want to keep the sun off your head, it's a, it's a nice thing. Mopar product as well, correct? Mopar product as well, correct. Very cool. Okay, now we're on behind the Jeep, and I'm looking at a couple different components here. Tell me what's going on in the back. So then we talked about the, the two inch lift kit, and you put that on there because you're putting on a 35 inch tire. So if you're putting on a larger tire, you're gonna need additional reinforcement on your tailgate. So what we have is the hinge gate reinforcement kit. Okay. With that, we have the additional bracketry to allow for a larger tire to mount to the, to the tailgate. And then we also have a chimsel relocation kit. So you can remove your chimsel from the back and attach it here. With a new vehicle, there is a standard backup camera, so we want to make sure we're able to facilitate the relocation of the chipsel. Okay, so tell me a little bit about what's going on in the back, Manny. I see we got a mat here. Looks like there's a compartment under here, some rails. What's going on back here? And basically, we've taken the mat, and instead of just doing the, the trunk here, we ride it all the way up the seat back. So if you fold the seats down, you want to add cargo, lumber, whatever it may be, you're not going to damage your seats, you're not going to get splinters in the carpet, but it's additional protection. Underneath here, got a good point, there's additional storage space. You've created a little bucket, so if you have tools and you want to be able to lift them out, you want to store, it could be pop, ice, whatever it may be, but you have another place to, to add content. And this is a removable, removable tray. so you can take it out, hose yeah. it off, what have you? I feel that, you know, it's nice and robust and uh, it's not going to collapse on you. So we have a number of accessories that we're creating that are in development and developed that we're going to be uh, able to attach to these items. And for example, it's not on here right now, but we have a tailgate table. So basically if you're out and you want to place a snack, put your drinks, your food, it, it'll open up for you and uh, it's going to be able to attach. So this will also allow for aftermarket Absolutely. manufacturers to get something that'll work with this rail, whether it's a table, uh, whatever. We're leaving it open, you know, for, for the creative minds to come up with different things. You know, this vehicle, when you buy it, is really for customization, right? right? And that's what we're demonstrating here with all these things that we've put on here. We've come up with product and we just demonstrated one way to do it, you know, and the consumers are going to take this and they're going to come up with wonderful ideas and they're going to do great things with it. We're really excited to see uh, oh, it just adds to the whole thing. I've always thought uh, of two words that come with a Jeep, capable and modular. Absolutely. So we're absolutely playing that up. Very cool. All right, Manny, now we're on the final side of the passenger side of this vehicle now, and I can't help but notice, tell me about this leather that's going on inside the vehicle. So if you are, let's say you bought a sport vehicle and you never you know, had the opportunity to get the leather and you really want it, we offer a Tuscany leather option through the factory or you can have it done at the dealer. So have feel this, it's uh, fantastic. It's actually stitched in a tungsten uh, gray. Feels durable, yeah. feels tough. Yeah, it's a real, real nice product, it feels great. What about these tires here? I see this beadlock, is this a beadlock rim? It's a beadlock rim, so we offer it, it can be mounted in both um, a beadlock and non-beadlock. You know, if you're not one that really likes to go off-roading, but you like the look, you can mount it um, in the traditional non-beadlock, or if you want to put in a true beadlock, we offer a trim kit. that allows you to, to mount in the off-road uh, beadlock okay. location. Now I'm looking at the mats that are inside the interior. It seems to match the uh, the one that was in the back there with the, the topographical print that's on there. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so what we've done is again, that uh, topographical map um, of, of the Moab scene. These are great mats. They fit like a tailored suit. Uh, we've paid attention to a lot of little details in terms of putting nibs on the bottom so it doesn't slip. It's got a button down feature. Um, in addition to, there is a drain in the front, so if you, for whatever reason, get too much water, you don't have the roof on and you get water in there, you track in a lot of water with your boots. We have a drain that goes right through the mat to the bottom of the vehicle and you can drain out the water. So you're completely anticipating getting into that water, turning on that snorkel. You got rubber mats on the ground. This, It's ready for it. It's ready. We, we've got a number of accessories. Like I said, almost 200 accessories we're bringing to market. We're excited to help the enthusiasts, our customers, take the vehicle to another level and uh, we look forward to uh, Trails Ahead. Outstanding. Well, thank you, Manny. I appreciate it very thank much. And for those of you watching, please check out our channel, subscribe. Check out our website, adventurevehiclereviews.com. And until next time, get there.